They shouldn't have lost this one. So because we have a stat on everything, yes, Thunder became just the fifth team in the last 25 single seasons to win multiple games versus a single opponent after trailing by at least 19 in both games. How's that for specifics? SGA went off in both of those contests, leading OKC to its only two wins of the season in these comeback victories. So there's a lot to unpack here with the Lakers. Tim, I, I see you with an iPad in yeah, hand. That, yeah, means, yeah. that means it's dangerous and you got something to show. Yeah, we got to make this thing sing a little bit. All right, all right, let's Listen. go take a look. Look, look, look. So, look, this isn't going to be all about Russ, but the bottom line is, Richard, some of the decision-making late in the game, it, it cost them an opportunity. And I'm, I'm going to show you really what Russell Westbrook was looking at, maybe what he should have been looking at. So let's start here. It's very important to notice, so people are aware, right? So you got a two-point game of 27.8. That's a ton of time. Lots of time. You, right. you're, you're not in a hurry. You don't have to rush, but it's about processing the defense. So here's the first thing to look at. As this ball comes off the floor, let's get it going. He's looking now. Let's stop it. Now, first off, Take a look at Carmelo Anthony, right? Hands in the air, he's been hot. So right, and Russ is looking in that direction. So he's he's processing what's on the weak side of the floor. You've also got a shooter here, Avery Bradley running to the corner. But here's the key. In order to get one of those guys a shot, you have got to engage the top defender. This ball has to be taken right here, back to the middle. And now you've got to make one of these two weak side defenders react to you. And when they do, you now have an easy decision on the weak side. So as he gets right here, there is still time for Russ to take this ball to the middle of the floor. And if you can just get one of these guys to commit. Hands are still open by Carmelo. That's it. He's still waving. If the back line guy comes, it's an easy kick to the corner. If that doesn't happen, you want to drive middle if you're Russ? Let's get the top defender then to come pinch. If that's the case, again, easy decision on the kick out. The problem is Russ takes it too deep, too far, too many dribbles. And now he ends up in this situation. One, two, three, four, five defenders in the paint. He doesn't put the ball in his left hand. You don't even get a shot attempt. So, Rich, it's just bad execution and a really unfortunate turnover right there. Now, this one, Russ is now thinking, man, I turn the ball over. I got to make up for it. He's in a good spot here. You got a denial. They're in good position right here. Guy breaking into the backcourt. You got a denial there. Now, here's something that has nothing to do with Westbrook that they mess up. On this screen right here, and SGA comes in this direction, that's an easy switch. Carmelo Anthony has to switch to deny this. But watch what happens. As he comes off, both defenders stay Look, with the screener. SGA is open right there. He had a layup dunk they could have. He, he could have. But yeah. he's thinking, let's play the free throw game. Mm -hmm. So what does he do? He breaks out here and they get it in. But now watch what happens. You're still in good shape if you're the Lakers. So SGA is going to try to dribble some clock. But as he brings it over, I mean, there's a lot of options here. You can get a trap here if you want to. He brings it over. You can get a trap here if you want to and try to make them pass the ball a couple times. The one thing you can't do, if you're Russell Westbrook, who is here, and this is your man, you cannot now get in a situation where you are chasing the basketball and you give a guy a free run to the rim and give up an easy dunk in a two-point game with 15 seconds left. Cannot happen. And that's Russell just trying to make up for the turnover. And now this last one, I don't have a huge problem with it other than this. Richard, can you explain to me why is Russell Westbrook catching the ball at the foul line with all this space with seven seconds left? There's no reason for him to catch the ball in this area of the floor with seven seconds. He could have caught the ball literally up here, and it gives you more options now of what you can do. Now, the rest of this, I think, is Frank Vogel. This is just a really poorly designed play. Like, here's the screen. They're trying to get Melo coming up, but look what Russ is looking at. I mean, he's looking in that direction. He sees it. The problem is, Rich, Here's what he sees. Four defenders mm. and three offensive players. There's, it's just too crowded to try to throw the ball cross court. It's just a really poorly designed play. So, of course, what Russ is going to do, he's going to say, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and launch this up because I know I can get this shot off. Very good contest by Dort. You don't get a quality possession. Hey, look, a lot of that looks like you're beating up Russell Westbrook. Sure. He and I have talked about this off the air. We love his competitive spirit, but sometimes the decision-making hurts you. And this is where LeBron James is on the floor. It's a little bit different. The ball's in his hands. Right? Absolutely. Well, and, and, and then really quickly, the Lakers need Russell Westbrook. That's, that's, that, that's like, I, Look, I know there was conversation of this. The reason why you needed him is, like, Anthony Davis in this game was a minus 14. Mm -hmm. He put up big numbers, but they need someone to control the pace, especially when LeBron James is out. They don't necessarily – they just need him to play better. And these are little things that are controllable he's got to get into a rhythm but yep. they're in a good spot but oh, they yeah. definitely need him to play a lot better guys I do want to bring in Zach here because yeah. we have spent so much time Hi, talking Zach. about the Lakers but Zach 
I gotta get your thoughts. Give a little bit of shine to SGA. Yeah, it's all Lakers, Lakers, little Lakers. It can't all <laughs> oh, be Lakers. Oh, he went the Lakers. Lakers. Alexander, 28 points on 17 shots pulled up from the logo. Guys, he had on a pick and roll in the fourth quarter a crossover into splitting defenders into a Euro step lefty finish where I screamed so loud I think I woke my wife up. It was so beautiful. The guy is <laughs> averaging 24 points a game on 46% shooting. 39% from three. He's playing good defense. You saw the spirit, the fist pumping, the screaming last night. We haven't seen a lot of that out of him. He is growing in to an all-star level player, a centerpiece player for the Thunder. That's something that they can really pin there and pin to their hat going forward. Josh Giddy is for real. He's good. But SGA, all the attention has been on John Morant and deservedly so. But this guy is a stud. Yeah, the, the one thing that I would add is that SGA and this Oklahoma City team would be amazing if they played the Lakers every game. <laughs> <laughs> well, Particularly with those kind of that. late game possessions, you're 100% right. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, SGA stepped up when you needed it. And also, I mean, I was in the building last night. Every time he would come up for a shot, the building just collectively deflated. That's the type of respect that he was getting. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.